a charcoal grill and char some onions and eat it with rice. <laughs> We're gonna grate some garlic. We're gonna peel some onions and chop them in half. Then we wanna coat the onions in vegetable oil. You can do this the day ahead or right before you go out on your cookout. Now it's time to put the marinade over the steaks. Have soy sauce, the garlic's already in there, some brown sugar for a little bit of sweetness, and black pepper. This is something that's not too traditional, but um, an ingredient I like to add for a heavy marinade, and sesame seed oil, toasted, of course. Get it nice and coated and leave in the fridge overnight or at least four hours. About an hour before you're ready to grill, make sure to soak your planks in some water. I'm using a river. <laughs> it's time to get the grill ready. What I'm doing is getting some pieces of paper or whatever you have laying around to put underneath the coals so it's easier to light. And then we're going to pile it on on top And I'm arranging it to make sure that every single coal gets lit. I'm using the Weber lighter cubes because they're ridiculously easy to light and they are food safe. So you just want to stick them on the bottom of the coals and light them and they will set ablaze. Just like that. Burn off some of the uh, the bits from the last cookout. There. And I already have everything in my hot zones. There, uh, there's a hotter zone in the back so that we can sear, and then uh, a cooler zone in the front so we can cook whatever we're cooking a little bit longer without burning it too crisp. doing now is wadding up a piece of foil so that it can um, scrape off the bits that were there before. It'll be easier because it's hotter. Real hot. We need to get the onions started. So what I'm going to do now nice and hot. Very careful, like I just did myself there. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're putting the onions directly on the coals. And it might seem weird to do that, but we are on purpose singeing the outside, getting a nice char on it, and we're only going to eat the inside, which would be buttery and nice and soft and a little bit of caramelized. And since the onions take longer to cook, we're putting them on first. And those will hang out there while the steaks are cooking. Alright, this is actually why I have two tongs. A little safer. There we go. want these to start cooking, think of it like an oven. So I'm going to open this about halfway on the lid to get some airflow in. Pop it in. Like that. So that should make sure that the fire, uh, the coals are still going and don't burn all the way out because the air is coming in to give it some oxygen. Thanks. <laughs> I keep looking at that camera. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna make some rice because rice is perfect with a uh, ribeye and kidu. So I keep saying ribeye, but I mean New York strip. The good news is both steaks would be great for this recipe. Um, what we're gonna do is bring it up to a boil and then turn down the heat and like let it hang out, and that's when the, the grains actually cook. So. 
that do not catch on fire. Okay, we're bringing this to a high. What we do when we come out is pre-measure the rice and have it soaking in the water um, the right amount so you don't have to think about it. You just dump it into, into the pan. My babe closes these really tight. <laughs> So we're going to bring it to a high, let it boil. And it's boiling! Starting to... It's like a cauldron. Ooh. So it is boiling. I'm going to bring it down to a lower heat. Without turning off that flame, so turn back on. There we go, the lowest without it going up. And then close it. Should be about like 15, 20 minutes. It's okay to keep checking on it even though you're gonna lose heat. Um, I would say after like 10 minutes, make sure you check it so that it's not scorched. And then we'll stir it up at, at the end. Okay. All right, so first thing we wanna do is to sear these planks because the um, it's gonna get smoky because it's been soaking and all that is going to bring flavor to our steaks. Let that go for a little bit. Beautiful. Woo! Yeah. That's good. Nice. What we're gonna do now is sear the steaks and then we're gonna put the steaks the steaks on top of the planks. So, Ooh. you can hear it. This is a thick cut, so I'd say we do it about like five to ten minutes total. It's depending on what kind of doneness that you want. I'm I'm a kind of um, medium to medium rare. So we're gonna got, want to get that internal temperature to about, um, I got a little bit upset, I forgot what it was. <laughs> and so we're just searing it, and that's not gonna cook, cook the inside enough, and that's when we put it on the plates to get that flavor. Woo! Oh my God. So that's searing. Now, we're gonna put these steaks, oh my god, this is good, on these plates. Oh my god, so good. Things like that. Make sure to use the thermometer. Out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to take the onions off, nice and charred and caramelized. Ooh, hot. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Very nice.
god. You don't want to eat the outside charred layer. It's definitely not good. <laughs> Maybe not good for you. Also, won't taste good, even if it was. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Fresno chilies, sesame seeds, and to eat. Okay. So I forgot forks, so we're gonna use um, chopsticks and steak knives. Okay. So it's really good, babe. This way. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's really tender. Mm -hmm. Nice hint of hickory. I think it's cedar. Cedar? <laughs> Woody. <laughs> It's nice because you can still um, taste the fat, even though the, there's um, the marinade was on there. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Let's eat. 